A new fleet of fire trucks is about to hit the streets of Nashville. You know, over the last few years, the city's aging fleet of engines has created some safety issues. Our Chris Cannon is in East Nashville, where one of the new trucks will roll. We're at Station 3, where firefighters will soon get a new engine, a piece of equipment that is much needed and a long time coming. It takes about uh, a year or so to spec out an engine and get it ordered and built. Count them, 13 new fire engines Nashville couldn't get fast enough. If we weren't critical, we were just before critical. So in, in, in some reports, you'd hear them say that. So it was more than serious, I'll say that, that we needed to get these engines out here. The Nashville Fire Department invested $5.4 million to replace a third of its aging engine fleet. They just wear out. There's nothing more to it than that. It's not like it's bad equipment or it's cared for badly. It just wears out. This purchase was pushed back during the recession, but two years ago, city leaders wrote a check to cover the cost. We make a lot of runs here in Nashville. Mark Young is the president of Nashville's Firefighters Union. He says the new trucks are a good start. There's still work to do. We've uh, we still got some aging equipment that uh, still needs to be uh, replaced and some lighter trucks and some ambulances. Some fire stations with old engines have had issues over the last few years, forcing many to shut down when equipment is out of service. When you do something like that, the territory that they are assigned to uh, is in danger. You rely on second response. Uh, and when, when first response was uh, what the taxpayer deserves. So this row of new fire engines not only looks impressive, it makes Nashville safer. It'll be two weeks before that new engine is in the bay here at Station 3. All the firefighters have to go through training on the new equipment. In East Nashville, Chris Cannon, News Channel 5. The engines came out of a $6.5 million budget appropriation for the fire department. It also included seven new ambulances. They're already in service.